Hi guys, welcome back to Quran Logics, where I take a very quick look at the logics used and applied in the Islamic Quran. Now in this book there are endless references to heaven and hell, the yin and yang of Islam. It is the centerpiece of the entire belief system, the reason why Muslims are so scared of being punished and hope only for one thing, to go to heaven for eternity. Why? Well, heaven, according to the Quran at least and the Sunnah, it's an Arab man's dream come true if he lived in the 7th century. It has gardens, carpets, cushions and cups with wine, women galore and every imaginable comfort like streams of milk and baskets full of grapes, all rare in the harsh Arabian desert at the time. That's why a male Muslim will pray and pay, will fight, endure endless hardship and do almost anything to be able to go and have sex with virgins and drink wine. As a non-Muslim, I can do that right here now, without having to worship or fast or do anything. I just need to be a young and a nice person and I will have the same paradise here on earth. I can have sex with virgins and drink wine without doing anything for it. Just be nice. So is it logical to have to go and live a life of hardship for the mere promise of rewards when I'm dead? For rewards available to me now when I'm alive without all the hard stuff? Is that logical? You decide for yourself. Thanks for your time.